Hello everyone, welcome to Dental Mate. Today in this video, we'll be talking about brachial plexus. Let's get started. So, what are brachial plexus? It is a plexus of nerves which supply the skin, fascia, and the muscles of ex upper extremities. Okay. So, brachial plexus are basically plexus or a group of nerves which are supplying the skin, fascia and the upper extremities. So, this, this is a like uh, uh, mnemonics that we have made to help you understand or to make you learn the brachial plexus easily. It is up above the land lived lordless, Lord Lordesses merrily. Middle part paid special attention to the rich lords. Lower middle part calves more urban. Let's see how to use this mnemonics and how to remember the brachial plexus in a very easy way. See, brachial, how is it formed? It is formed by the roots. The roots are basically located behind the vertebra, okay? Now, what are the roots? The roots are C5, uh, these roots are located behind which vertebra? C5, C6, C7, C8 and T1. Next, it comes the trunk. So, these trunks, they are located in the subclavian triangle. Okay. The root C5 and C6, it forms the upper trunk. C7 forms the middle trunk. And C8 and T1, they are forming the lower trunk. After that comes the divisions. Now these divisions, they are located in the clavicle. So upper and middle trunk, they join together to form the anterior division. The upper, middle and lower trunk, these three join together to form the posterior division. See. Roots are C5, C6, 7, 8 and T1 which are located behind the vertebra. After that comes the trunk. These trunks they are located in the sub subclavian triangle and they are divided into three. C5, C6 forming the upper trunk. C7 is the middle trunk. C8 and T1 forming the lower trunk. After that comes the divisions. Root, trunk, division. Now division is it is present in the clavicle. We have an anterior division and posterior division. The upper and the middle trunk, they are forming the anterior division. Whereas upper, middle and the lower trunks, they are forming the posterior divisions. After division comes the cords. These cords, they are present below the cl clavicle. And they give the cutaneous supply and the motor supply. Okay. So, from the anterior division, See, now these cords, they are lateral cords, posterior cord and the medial cord. Lateral, posterior, medial cord. Okay. First of all, we have the lateral cord. Then posterior cord. And after that, we have the medial cord. So, see, what we can see, uh, how we can like remember is, first, two are combining to form one and the middle one goes from directly the root C7 and then again two are combining to form one that is the lower trunk. After that two are combining to form anterior trunk and three are combining to form the posterior trunk. After that we have three different cords. Okay. Upper trunk and the anterior division forming the lateral cord. The upper middle and the lower trunks and the posterior division forming the posterior cord whereas the lower trunk directly forming the medial cord. Now these cords they are giving the cutaneous and the motor supply. Okay. Now we have the branches of the cords. So what are the branches? From the lateral uh, cord we have the lateral pectoral nerve the lateral root of median nerve and the musculocutaneous nerve. Three branches from the lateral cord. 
After that, we have five branches from the posterior cord. What are those? Upper scapular nerve, lower scapular nerve, nerve to latissimus dorsi, axillary nerve, and the radial nerve. Okay. Now, from the medial cord, we have four branches, which is medial root of median nerve, medial pectoral nerve, ulnar nerve, medial cutaneous nerve of the arm, and forearm. Along with that, see the medial root and the lateral root of median nerve is there. This together forms the median nerve. So, how do we remember this? Acha, there is one more nerve or one more branch which is coming that is from the roots directly. Okay, which roots? C5, C6, and C7, which is the long thoracic nerve, and it gives a branch to the nerve to serratus anterior. So this is the break, this is the plexus of the nerves which are present and they are supplying the skin, fascia and the muscles of the upper extremities. Okay. Now let us understand one more thing here. If the C4, okay, C4 vertebra, if it joins to the C5, then it forms the prefixed one. And if the T2 joins with the T1, sometimes this happens, it forms the postfixed ones. Okay? Achha. There is a nerve which is the dorsal scapular nerve which supplies the rhomboid muscles. Okay? That is also present. Now, how to remember this? See, first, first mnemonic that we have already seen was up above the land lived Lord Lordesses merrily. So, how do we remember? See, up, that is upper, above the land lived Lord Lordesses merrily. Okay? So, this is the first uh, mnemonic that we need to remember. After that, the second one was middle part paid special attention to the rich lords. So, middle part paid special attention. So, that is the subscapular nerve, which is the upper and the lower. Okay. The middle part paid special attention to attention from attention. We have the axillary nerve. Middle part paid special attention to the rich lords. From rich, we have R, that is radial nerve. And from the L of the lords, we have latissimus dorsi. So, love nerve to the latissimus dorsi. Now, next mnemonic was lower middle part calves more urban. So, lower middle, that is medial part, that is pectoral nerve. So, medial pectoral nerve. It calves. So, medial cutaneous nerve of arm and forearm, that is cutaneous nerve. So, we have the uh, from C, we have cutaneous nerve. We need to remember it is the medial cutaneous nerve of arm and forearm. It calves more urban. From urban U, we have the ulnar nerve and M of the more, it is the medial root of median nerve. Okay. So, this is the mnemonic, how you can remember the brachial plexus easily, in an easy way. Now, if we talk about the applied anatomy of the brachial plexus, first is the winging of the scapula. So, if there is injury to the nerve serratus anterior, okay, from where we were getting the nerve serratus anterior? If there is an injury to the nerve serratus anterior, then what happens is there can occur winging of the scapula. This causes a sudden pressure on the shoulder from above, okay. This is basically, this happens because of carrying heavy loads on the shoulder and what is how is this deformity seen there is excessive prominence of the medial border of the scapula okay and what is the disability the pushing and the punching actions okay pushing and the punching actions they cannot be like the person who is injured whose nerve to serratus anterior is injured he cannot perform the pushing and the punching actions and no overhead abduction could be done. Second is the clumpkis paralysis. 
third is the horner syndrome and fourth is the earl's paralysis this will be discussing in the coming videos this is it about the brachial plexus do not forget to like share and subscribe to my channel do hit the bell icon if you don't want to miss any latest updates also do let me know in the comment section below if this video has helped you in any ways as this would boost me to make videos of even better versions for you all stay tuned keep visiting thank you